With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that find the potential energy of a charge Q0 placed at the center of a regular hexagon. Okay, of side A. If the charge Q is placed in each vertex of a regular hexagon. So basically we need to check that for a regular hexagon. So what does the regular hexagon look like? Hexagon is an object that has six sides. Okay, so hexagon will somewhat look like this. Okay, so basically this is a hexagon. Okay, and a regular hexagon means what? It will have all sides same. That means what? The measure of all sides will be A. Okay, if this side is A basically, this will also be A. This will also be A. This will also be A. And so will be the other two sides. Okay. And there is one property of regular hexagon that from the center point. Okay. If you draw a line from the center point to each vertex. Okay. Let's suppose we draw a line to each vertex like this. Okay. Then this lines will also have equal length. And this will be equal to what? This will be also equal to what? This will be equal to A itself. Okay. So basically if we see this will also be equal to A. That means what? Now we'll see about the question that um, basically it is given that in each corner, okay, basically there is a charge Q kept, okay, each corner there is a charge Q kept, okay. So we'll draw in each corner there is a charge Q and also in the center there is a charge Q0, okay, at the absolute center over here there is a charge Q0, got it. So basically we need to find the potential energy on this charge Q0 due to these all charges. So if you remember the formula for potential energy U is what basically K which is the constant okay, into Q1 Q2 divided by R which is the distance. So if you take out for one charge okay all charges are at same distance that means what if we see distance is same charges uh, both the charges if we see q0 and any q that means q1 and q2 are same and k is basically a constant that means what if we multiply this by 6 we will basically get the total energy due to all 6 charges that means what this will come out to be 6 into k into q0 which is q1 into q divided by r which is a okay so this will come out to be 6 k q q0 divided by a okay so this is basically our answer so our answer will be what this is basically our answer so we'll mark this as the answer got it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today